What a perfect day for football we've got here. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler for the commentary. We have football today from the Championship in England. Charlton Athletic against Sheffield Wednesday. I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Thank you, enjoy the game. What we've been waiting for, the kick-off, the game is underway. Read the intentions. Now a check on Charlton Athletic. 4-4-2, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with a diamond today. Yeah, but I've seen this manager so often switch formations midstream during the course of a match, and we might see that again today. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. Well, he's got a chance now to get forward in this wide area. Trying to get behind the defence. Letting the shot go! Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. We have some goal news for you from Nottingham Forest, and our reporter is Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cardiff City. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Made a quick interception. It's out, it'll be a throw. Patiently building up. They've got the ball back by that interception. I think the referee's showing how he's going to officiate this match. It's going to be a free kick. He's not going to stand any nonsense. And the goalkeeper's won it. Got right behind the free kick. To Gallagher. Won it back with an interception with great vision here in the clear for a great chance oh it's a great goal oh the crowd appreciating that and so are his teammates what a good finish and what a good ball through to him Sheffield Wednesday with the lead. Happy birthday to Sasha Walker celebrating today from Grandad Stan. Let's and break Grand... off for a moment to bring in Alan McAnally here, who's got some news for us of a goal at the Bristol City match. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 16 minutes played, 1 0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Throw in to come. Aristotle and Siala. Excellent interception. Put his body in front of the opponent and protected the ball well. Clark. With good vision. Oh, he was in for another goal there, but the goalkeeper this time got the better of him. Yeah, it looked for all the world like the striker was going to beat the keeper again, but, well, that goal, he had other ideas. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Good deep cross towards the far post. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Well, this must have been very tight indeed, but we get the advantage of another look that the officials, of course, don't. No, and uh, it was such a close call, but the defence had squeezed and caught the lad offside, although he tucked it away well. Intercepted well. Referee doing guided through. Can he finish it now? 
He wanted to go for the strength in the shot, but he needed some direction. Yeah, I mean, if you don't shoot, you don't score, but he's got to do much better. And that's gone out for a throw-in. And that will be another throw here. Well, no one's picking him up in the wide area. This could be dangerous. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Yeah, as you can see, the visitors trailing in the possession stakes. It's a quick break. Just buying his team a bit of time by holding the ball. Must be a goal! Almost as far wide as he was far out. Well, he's tried to place it, but in the end, he might have been better putting his laces through it. At the Liberty Stadium, Alan McAnally has got some news for us. It's a second goal for Fulham. 32 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. He's got possession back for his team. Well, he's given the ball away here, unnecessarily. Tries the shot. Well, the keeper's got that. <laughs> Slipping it through. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. Moving it nicely and productively here. Well, spoke too soon, I guess. They were moving the ball around nicely, but now they've lost it. Clever idea with the through ball, but the defender saw it coming. The well, signal's gone up for two minutes. Two minutes of added time. Stevenson. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0. Referee has blown, and the second half is now in progress. Saw that coming and intercepted. Alan McAnally is at Nottingham Forest today, and he's got news of a goal. Alan. It's a second goal for Cardiff City. 48 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Put in from the wide area. Saved by the keeper. You can't... Superb work to reach that. Great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal. We all love looking at goals, Martin, but there's something special about a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts. Chance from the pass. He's done well to block that. Well, he's decided to play it to his teammate for a short corner. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. This could be it. It's opened up. Pushed out by the goalkeeper. Fearing the equaliser at one end, they've gone and scored at the other end to put themselves two ahead and strengthen their possession. 
in the end, it was a tap-in, and the goalkeeper parried the ball into his path. Well, you can get 20 goals like that a season if you think that quickly in and around the box. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Nice break off from here for a moment. News from Alan McInally, an update about a sending off. It's a red card for the home team. They're down to 10 men. 57 minutes played. It remains 2-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McInally, of course. Oh, they thought they were in, but the... Flag has gone up. But he's got options on the bench, of course. Coming off the pitch, number 30, Alex Gilby, to be replaced by number 21, Massimo Milongo. That's good passing, probing. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. Slippery play here. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, long overdue you feel this change. For a side that's behind, a switch of tactics now. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's covering the Nottingham Forest game for us today. And I believe it has a goal to bring us up to speed with. Alan? It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. 65 minutes played, 2-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Passing is this. Oh, he's through. Comfortable work, really. Bit of a stretch for the goalkeeper. But never looked as though he's going to be beaten. No, bread and butter, really, for this lad with his talent. Number 28. Referee has pointed for a corner. Pressure really on. Yet another corner. Swung in from the corner. Decent distance from the punch from the goalkeeper. He could cross it now. Cullen, offside. That's an easy decision. Luongo. He's got possession back for his team. Can they do it in these closing minutes? It's time for the Alamo, by the looks of it. They need a goal and they're piling everybody forward. Here's Alan McAnally now to tell us about a goal in the Bristol City game. Alan? It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. 75 minutes played, 2-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. And they've got to score soon. Well, those defenders are going to be asked to head the ball. Quite a lot, I think. Plenty of aerial balls are going to be coming their way in the next few moments. Anderson threads it through. That's an excellent stop from the keeper. We all thought that was in, didn't we? Corner played into the middle. He's made the save. Grasped in the end by the goalkeeper, finally after a frantic piece of play which included a remarkable save just a, a moment or two earlier. You thought for all the world like there was going to be a goal there and they should have been more clinical with the second chance in the end. Simple for the keeper. Ten minutes left of regular time. Done well to protect possession for his team. Still got a bit to do but this is promising. Well now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it?
Stevenson. And he gets it returned to him. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? Takes the shot on. Credit to them, they're still having a go here. Although if they got that one in, it really would have been game on. Yeah, I mean, the two goals down, but they haven't played badly. And if that had gone in, that'd have gained some faith and confidence. Now, we've only got four minutes remaining in the match. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Incisive pass. Anderson! He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. It's going to be three minutes added on. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. It's broken down and they'll have to try again. In behind the defenders. Hamilton. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort that with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Says that's that. 